So we're out here at Lake Mead and they found another body. Number three, yeah. Number three. So it's wild because this is actually a very famous beach right here that a lot of people come to swim on, they come to vacation on, everything. We literally had the local news crew right here filming with us not too long ago and the body showed up on this beach right here by some swimmers. So when we very first started these Lake Mead update videos, we were talking that it's a weird thought that these you know they're turning up bodies where we've always been fishing for years and stuff and it looked like a big rock i seen the video it looked like a rock but the dude walks up and it was obviously a body all right so in this video we're gonna ask a couple people see if anyone knows any information it's still kind of early it just got found yesterday so since it's so early in the story you know they don't release all the detailed information we don't know if it's a male female and we don't know if it's something that was a fresh murder and somebody threw in but we're gonna get more information on that before we get into this video you guys just came here because you wanted to hear the news and then we threw a little bit of fishing in it and all of a sudden a lot of people from vegas are like wow that's interesting i'd like to fish but i don't have you know the five thousand dollar electronics and you know the hundreds of dollars worth of gear so what adrian's gonna do right here is he's going to explain how to do it from absolute scratch that's a funky boat behind me huh crazy but yeah as senior was saying I'm going to show you guys everything it takes to get into fishing. I want you to realize how easy it is because it might be intimidating at first. You know, if you've never been fishing or if it's something you haven't done in a long time, the whole process, you know, trying to stay legal within the laws and everything. And a lot of people tell me that they don't catch when they go out. So I'm going to show you literally how easy and even how cheap it can be to get into, you know, the hobby of fishing. So we walked into Walmart. Step number one, sporting goods, my favorite spot. So first thing we like to do is you go to the outdoor counter and they'll usually have a little magazine there that has all your local fishing regulations. Now that has a book on the laws of, you know, how many hooks you can have, what lures you can use, everything legality wise, the prices of licenses and everything is in that book. You guys can see a big rod selection, great prices too. Very affordable options here. We're going to go ahead and pick one out really quick. And uh, that's what we're going to fish with today. What'd you get, Ju? I just picked this one, has a nice little starter can and everything. All species. Yeah. 20 bucks, the whole thing. $20. I'm gonna go with this little button release one right here just so that whoever would give these two has one of each. So this little kit right here already comes with hooks. It comes with bobbers, little bells and everything. So all we're gonna need now are good weights because at Lake Mead, you gotta be able to cast pretty far. So for bait, we're gonna go with worms and anchovies. And here's some of the baits that a lot of people like to use. These right here. Our night crawlers, those are great for bluegill, catfish, everything else. These ones are actually garlic scented. And mealworms. These won't work for what we're gonna do. These are for like bluegill. Anchovies? Never go wrong with anchovies. Got everything I need, a little starter kit, weights, and good bait. It's gonna be a good day. Got everything. Everything we're gonna need right here to go catch some fish. 55 dollars for a good time all right guys we just left walmart literally for only 55 dollars we're going to be able to bring two people fishing now keep in mind that doesn't include license fees but if you're taking a kid out or somebody or you're a, a resident to your state it's not very expensive at all you guys look like serious fishermen with that stuff oh yeah walking through walmart dude you can see you got that little sway to step and he's ready <laughs> all right so we got out of walmart we're heading to the lake that's all the stuff that we needed for this trip back to the body yeah so we came down to the water's edge and uh there's people fishing out here no luck no luck yet no luck so he's out here striper or catfish for a striper striper yeah i asked him if he knew anything about the body and he said he didn't know anything about it and 100 yards to our right, we believe that's a team that was looking for the body. Does that creep you out at all or no? A lot. <laughs> I, mean, I, I have no idea I was happening just next to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I catch the body, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he had no clue. And, uh, you know, it's, it's only, uh, it hasn't been put out yet. The news is fairly fresh on it. There's probably one or two youtube videos on it 
So we're just coming out asking questions and he's the first one we've ran across. Are you still gonna eat the striper if you catch it? I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, I've been here for uh, maybe two years and I've been trying to find better spots to fish. So actually today I've been in three different spots trying to find a good spot to actually get to the water because it's getting dry. So it's getting difficult to find a good spot to fish. All right, so fellow fishermen, yeah, I like the Crocs. Nice. I like Croc, yours. Croc gang. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you, what you, do. you can go straight into the mud. It's literally the best yeah, shoes cool. you can have. <laughs> yeah, so we're out here. He's out here having a good time, relaxing. The sun feels great. A little bit of cloud coverage. So you just have guys out here coming out to have a good time. And that's why we showed you how to go get all your fishing stuff to come out here and just have a good time out here. All right, man. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you guys. Sin City Outdoors, Sin if City you want to see yourself. We're lucky it might have 10,000 views by the time you see it. Oh, nice, man. Let's see that. I will check it out. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. So we're going to go try to talk to the scuba team right here. Obviously, they're probably not going to tell us much because it's a live investigation. And uh, they're probably not wanting to put it out, you know, all the details yet. But we're going to see if we can talk to them, pull any information. It's just crazy. This guy was fishing just right here. And if that is where it was... That's not very far at all. You can see their little, their buoy right there, meaning they're scuba diving just right there. You can see the marina off there in the distance. That's where the very first body that popped up here at Lake Mead in the barrel was actually found. So that is less than a thousand yards apart. So because you guys have been so awesome lately, we're moving between spots and I actually was just thinking randomly I want to do a giveaway. So uh, you guys know hunting season's coming up. We're big outdoorsmen. I want to do a little bit of a giveaway. Something real simple, real easy. I'm going to give away some one rate gear. You guys have seen me wear it in the past if you've backtracked our videos to hunting. So we're going to give away some early season gear that you could wear whether you're going out deer hunting or just hiking or whatever. Awesome gear. All you got to do, like the video, drop a comment. We're going to pick someone in the comments and I will we'll get in touch with you and send you some, you know, awesome camo. Look at all these cops. They got a scuba team. So one thing that I do know about this body is it was only like half of a body. Uh, there was a video on YouTube that actually went out of a dude who found it a little while ago. I mean, it was blurred, but you could hear him talking about it and kind of see it through the blurred pictures and everything that uh, it was half a body. So these guys out here, they got a whole scuba team and they're looking for all the, you know, the other parts of the body to help maybe identify the person. I know it was the lower half. So, you know, obviously if they find the skull or something, it'd be easier to identify who this was and possibly when they passed. But I was going to go try to talk to them, but I don't think I want to, you know, waste their time a little bit or, or bug them too much while they're working. What do you think, Jew? I think it's crazy that they're finding bodies just right here. Hopefully we don't reel one in or nothing, but... <laughs> Is that yeah. a sweat mustache you got? It's hot back there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty steamy out here. You got to stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's been a little while since I walked out here on this swimming area or this beach. And <laughs> we've literally got a whole little river style deal going on nowadays. We still got people out here launching their jet skis from the beach. It's a pretty cool sight. So right here on this beach that I'm standing on, there's already been two bodies that turn up. That one I just turned up and the old one in a barrel. And it's weird to think, you know, the fact that even just one turned up in a barrel because there's so many. There's so many barrels on this beach. A lot of them are filled with cement, but I mean, I could see a bunch just within my eyesight. Look, there's a barrel. There's literally a, two more barrels. Another one. More barrels. Another one. Well, you guys get the point, but there's a ton of barrels out here. And it's a very weird thought, you know, like I just said, two bodies turned up on this very beach that I'm standing on. And who knows if, you know, any more will continue to show up on this beach. But all these barrels that are just randomly scattered throughout here, it just makes you think and it makes you wonder. A lot of people wonder why these things might even be out here. It's very weird that just randomly throughout the entire lake, there's all these random barrels that are either full of cement or just empty and kind of rusting through. But you know, your mind just stays curious and you begin to wonder a little bit what all these are doing out here. All right, new spot. Very cool fishing boat. So uh, we'll see if this fisherman's willing to talk to us and see if he caught anything. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Any luck out here? Ah, uh, just a little bit. Hey, you guys do the YouTube channel, huh? Yeah, you mind being on camera? Ah, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Local right. celebrities right here. 
Yeah, we do the fishing videos. We saw your nice looking boat right here. We like the aluminum boats. So how'd you do out here this morning? I did okay. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I've, I've done better, but uh, just glad to be out on the water. So did you hear anything about the body that was found out here? No, I haven't. So they found the body several hundred yards down that way. Uh, yeah, very interesting. Oof. But the fishing's good, huh? Yeah, yeah, there's, it's, I've seen worse. Yeah, so appreciate you. Are you yeah. subscribed to Yeah, yeah, no, I subscribed. Oh, yeah. perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. I, on, all right. Honestly, all the videos I've seen for the water level, I kind of, I was like, I hope they're lying. Yeah. yeah, so did it actually prepare you a little bit to come out here? Uh, a little bit, yeah, oh, but okay. it's just, it's not, it just kind of takes your breath away, like, holy smokes. Yeah. It's just unreal. So we're still actually looking for a spot to fish out here on the lake. And still just talking to you know fishermen people enjoying this beach but that is a pier that i fished off of many times in the past and i've actually caught fish off of it before and if this was only six months ago i probably would be sitting off that thing fishing right now too but you could see where that thing is and where the water level is now you're obviously not going to be able to fish off that nowadays and there's actually a new island that's popping up out here i've almost hit my boat on that before if you're coming out here to fish the couple people that we saw fishing you know they're fishing in very shallow water the reason why we said to buy the bigger weights is because you want to cast out you want to fish in at least i would say for stripers at least four feet or deeper some of these spots like these guys fishing over here they're fishing and probably 40 yards out it's only a foot deep you know two feet deep no striper is going to be in a foot of water two feet of water right now because of the heat of the heat so the water in that really shallow area is probably what do you say Adrian? 80 in the 80s probably 87. 86 87 degrees yeah probably. 87 degrees that's like you being in a sauna all day long as a human at 104 degrees you're not going to want to sit there all day long so they go to little break offs and they go into the deeper cooler water and they want to be by a ledge to ambush you know smaller fish that are hiding in those areas so right off the bat this whole beach looks really shallow not a good spot i don't think to fish so so my goal for our bait to sit would probably be about 15 foot i'd say 10 yeah, to 15. if we can get in 15 foot we're gonna catch if we cast right here in two feet we're not so so just as an experienced fisherman i'm telling you that if you come out here and you bring a kid and you're fishing in two feet of water you're probably not going to catch and if it's taking out a kid for the very first time that's an opportunity to to get them hooked on fishing you want to catch on the first or second time out fishing if you drag it on you go out 10 15 times you don't catch a kid's gonna hate fishing trust me i know from experience and they'll hate it they'll hate it they, we went out there it was boring unless they're swimming around and having fun doing other things but the fishing portion is not going to be very interesting. so you just got to make sure they have a good time just a good time and that's it's a it. good time buy them some snacks from from the snack bar give them some candy bring them out here fish have fun, laugh, don't yell at them and, you know, slap them. Don't touch the bait or whatever. Let them get their hands dirty. I was touching worms earlier and it smells great. Everything's good. <laughs> you were, I saw you eating some Funyuns earlier, licking your fingers too, don't lie I now. mean, they're worms. If I had to, I'll eat the whole worm. It don't matter. <laughs> Juju ate a worm on TikTok. No. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah. yeah, you ate a worm on TikTok. What was, you, what was, don't lie, what was your favorite part about fishing when you were younger? Don't lie. Don't lie. I know the answer the too. The snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to stop by this marina really quick. We knew it was going to be closed today. That's why we didn't take out our boat. Every about two to three weeks, they got to bring these big dozers out and extend the launch ramps. The water level out here is dropping so fast that if they weren't trying their best to keep up with the water level and digging that launch trap deeper and deeper and deeper, it would have been absolutely impossible to get a boat in and out of this lake by now. But you can see they're putting in the work and I'm, you know, obviously grateful and appreciative at the fact that they're doing that. So I stole the camera from them. Senior got hungry, so we're right here going to the marina. You get a fat burger, you want it. See what's popping, see if they have some good food. We know they got good food, that's why we're coming. There's actually two, two marinas here. Two I'm, like a, I'm like a creature of habit though. The first one I go to, if I like it, there's no reason to go to the second one. I'm not saying that it's not good and all that, but I know this spot. I, it's weird. I do the same thing every time. I find a spot that's halfway decent or good and I just go there. If you catch the fish that were fed a lot of buttered popcorn at 
They're, they're real fatty yeah. and delicious. Make them taste 10 times better, they say. They taste gourmet when you catch them on here. All right, I guess we're not gonna eat here. They're closed on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so no burger for us today. We might go check out the other marina now. Pretty sad? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I was really looking forward to eating something. Yeah, that's gonna be a horrible audio, but I wanted a burger. We're gonna drive up to the other spot, which is over there to our left. But what we have to do to go over there is we gotta drive all the way up this road. See that road? Gotta go all the way around, button hook, and then we're gonna come down on the other side. You can't just cross, so we're gonna drive over there. Look at all these little fry that are hanging out out here. There was a bass eating him? Oh, this little guy was eating him. Alright, so I said I was a creature of habit, and every once in a while I get forced to try something new. And then I end up liking it. Let's go check it out and see if we like it. What is that, a Corvette? Corvette, it looks like. Oh, we got a Corvette coming down here? I bet you that guy has a big houseboat. Oh, it's, it's a, a girl. It's a girl. Wow. I assumed it was a male. What a sexist pig. Oh, shoot. If you left your jet skis out here too long, you're probably going to get a ticket. You just got the big orange stickers on your stuff. Come get it. There's only Hurry a seven up. day limit out here. So the marina we usually go to is way over there. Notice the barriers in between. We should have brought the kit from here, but I didn't realize they had all that good stuff here. All right, so I just bought some Pringles and candy out of this little store here at the marina. Awesome place. Um, one of the dudes that works there was actually telling me that ever since we made the video showing that World War II boat over there, which is just literally, I mean, you could probably see it from the edge of this marina. A lot of you guys have been coming out here, showing some support to these local business. You guys have been coming out feeding the fish and stuff. How are you guys doing? You're feeding the fish? Yeah, we, this is my first time here, actually, not beside you from you guys. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I love your videos. Oh, thank you. So, so you came out here because you saw the video? So these are catfish for those of you that don't know. That's very rare that the catfish are actually this high eating popcorn. This is a carp, which carp will always be here. Not really afraid of people. Stripers, it's pretty rare too. But for the catfish to be up here eating popcorn off the surface, that's that's pretty amazing. I don't know if that happens anywhere else in the in the wild. But very cool. Thank you guys for watching our videos and stuff. We really appreciate it. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, bye. All right, guys, so we're out here. We're coming to the restaurant on this side of the marina. And right here we have Nicole, who is a friend of ours. So <laughs> she's going to tell you what to expect if you come visit this restaurant. So welcome to the Bow House. Um, we're just out here trying to let everyone know that we are open all the time. We're ready to have everyone back in here. We still got water in the lake, so come on out. Um, we just now extended our hours. We're open 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And then Friday and Saturday, we're open 8 to 8. So we're working on getting everyone back out here, but you guys gotta take your part and we hope to see you soon. We used to be out here until 10, 11 o'clock. Everyone would come in off their boats, come in, grab drinks, have food, and of course COVID stopped that for a while, but we are back on track now and we're hoping to bring more people in, stay off a little bit later and have some fun. All right, guys, so the boathouse, look at this view. You can come out here and sit there, listen to some, some easy going music. You got the water, the view, everything here. We just ate in there, food was delicious. Awesome. Um, yeah, that was a great burger. <laughs> Those parmesan fries yeah <laughs> get the parmesan fries yeah so so we had a great time you guys your cook is very good shout out to audrey yeah audrey <laughs> and keith yeah. and connor all right excellent cooks we appreciate you guys and uh, we hope some of you viewers come out here and you just absolutely fill this place up <laughs> <laughs> you make it to where they they receive lots of tips and you help them out because they are a privately owned business and yeah, family yeah. owned. We've been owned, they've been owned by the same family that's had this marina as long as it's been standing. So come on and support the small family businesses. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Thank we appreciate it. And we'll see you later. Thank you. We came and ate. I'm ready to go home. I don't know if I could do this and catch a fish. There's a lot going on. I've got a full belly. I need my nap. But we're going to try to make this happen and show how easy it is to start from scratch and come do this. So 
Let's go ahead and get into it really quick. We just legally got to get past those tires right there and then we're home free to go fishing. I'm gonna take that shade out there and we should be good. It's gonna be about a 200 yard walk in 115 degree weather, but we can do this. Woo, it's hot out here. This is, it's a must. If you're out here in the sun, it'll burn you alive. And take a look over there. There's the Higgins. <laughs> Where's the, there he is. Holy. He's huge, huh? Look at that thing. He's massive. We got a little bell. Okay, we got a couple bobbers. A lot of little hooks. We came with some ones that are already tied up to a little leader. Those are what I'm going to be using today. Yeah, I came with the same thing. So this is my little setup. I don't think I've ever fished with one of these, to be honest. Big leader on it. Jesus, I don't think I've ever seen one with a leader that long. So I'm going to tie two of these on. The bigger hook I'm going to use for anchovies because it's a bigger bait. And one of the smaller hooks I'm going to use for worms just because you can kind of thread it on a smaller hook a little bit easier. All right, we got a finished product right here. This is the Kentucky rig. Two hooks, a weight. When you cast it out, it'll be at an angle. One's closer to the bottom, one's a little bit higher off the bottom. I get a nice juicy worm like this. You get your hook and thread it through this worm, through the part you rip, and then you put it to where you got a nice little dangly piece at the bottom. These anchovies already thawed out a little bit. I like using them when they're still frozen. What I like to do is I aim for the spine. So you see that spine right there? Go about probably not quite in the middle, a little offset from the middle. I hit through the spine, you get the hook through, and then you just want to make sure that you got that point exposed. I like casting a little bit towards deeper water. If you look over here, it's too shallow. So I'm going to cast off to the right a little bit where it's a little bit deeper. It's now a waiting game. Yes, so. Hey, I have a proposition for you. You're going to be able to cast since you got those crocs on? Oh, you want to put the crocs to use? Get right. out there and cast it farther. No problem. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, yeah, he's going out there pretty deep. Right out? Yeah, as far as you can. That was way out there. 15, 20 feet. Got him! <laughs> We just caught dinner. Looks like a little bluegill. Looks like a little you want me to hold pumpkin it? seed or something. There I go. Yeah, try to hold them flat in your hand. He has beautiful colors. Wow, that's a pretty cool fish, huh? Biggest fish of your life, huh? He's a monster. <laughs> oh, he got one, he oh, got, got one. one. I just ran over here. Oh, man. Beautiful catfish. I was reeling this guy in. And uh, it was really weird because the pole just all of a sudden gave out. I don't know if, what happened to it. But and then all of a sudden when I was walking back on shore, it just took off again. Zzz. So this right here is a channel catfish. And this spike right here will ruin your life if it sticks you. And I learned at a very young age that these will also ruin your life. So the best way to grab these guys is from the bottom and you hold them like this. But yeah, this is a channel cat. This is an excellent meal right here if you want to eat them. Uh, we don't plan on taking any catfish home, so uh, I'm going to release this guy. They eat worms, they eat chovies, they eat, you know, all that stuff. They eat dead stuff pretty much. So these guys are bottom feeders. I'm going to let this guy go. It's a beautiful fish. Uh, I would take it home because my wife likes catfish, but if I take it home right after they found that body, she's going to say, heck no, why are you <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a beautiful fish. All right, we pulled it off, guys. We came out here. We showed you how to catch from the shore with a couple Walmart poles. We're going to get out of here. We just wanted to prove that we were able to catch out here and show you guys the basics, you know, to come out here, bring a kid out here. And, and this is the hardest time. It's like 1 o'clock right now. Hardest time to catch. Extremely hot. Fish really aren't biting. They want to catch real Jesus early. Caught again. <laughs> he caught. Hold it up. Get away from that boat. Cheater. Hold it up one more time. How was it, you? How many you catch? About three. It's cool. It's just hotter than heck out there. Well, we're about to get out of here. We accomplished the goal. The goal was to catch a fish from the edge. Like we told you guys, we showed you exactly how to do it. Uh, we showed you all the equipment. You had to buy everything. You literally could come out here and do this. But I really do appreciate you guys for watching. The fact that another body got found at this lake is absolutely insane. I'm on, uh, I agree with everybody that that's nuts and we don't know what else is gonna pop up. And uh, we're still going to do our Lake Mead water level updates and update everything that we're looking at today and all the boats we've been looking at. Before we head out, those poles that we bought, we have no use for them. They're very small poles, you know, we got professional style poles, so 
Adrian's gonna jump out. We see a couple kids. He's gonna go off of those poles to those kids. We don't need them. And uh, we'll just do a quick giveaway. Found a little bit generous. So we see two kids here and it's perfect. You know, if, you, if we have the opportunity to give these kids fishing poles and possibly get them into fishing, that's the goal. How'd it go? It went great. Those kids, they seem extremely happy. They, uh, they all thought it was cool. Um, I didn't want to just run up on people with cameras. You know, it's kind of awkward if uh, you run up on a family, everybody's out there swimming in their swimsuits and stuff. So I didn't just want to run up automatically filming everybody, but I walked up and talked to the parents first and uh, they thought everything was cool. And the kids seemed super excited though. You know, they're all waving as we're driving away and everything. So it feels good to do something like that. So maybe a small gesture like that will get those kids into fishing for life. So that's the goal. I hope that happened. They saw the name of the YouTube channel and they're gonna see the, the exact videos we've been making on how to catch fish. So I really hope that they enjoy them and use them. But that's it guys. Uh, you guys saw everything in this video from us covering the fact that a body got found to showing you exactly how to take out family members, how to get into fishing for extremely cheap, extremely easy. You can obviously upgrade your gear as you get more experienced or maybe you wanna start out with better gear. But it obviously doesn't take a lot to just get into it and start catching fish. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really thank you guys for watching. Like I always say, I mean, the amount of support we've been receiving recently is unreal. Um, it's more than I could have ever imagined. So I really want to thank you guys for that. But I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you outdoors.